In this video, we'll show you some of the normal uses for ClearGuard. ClearGuard is Sculpt Nouveau's single part solvent based clear coat. Now, ClearGuard can be used on its own, it can also be used kind of as that first coat before you put Everclear on top of it, as well as if you want to wax on top of it. Now, you don't have to wax or put Everclear on top of it, it's just fine on its own. But, just like your car, if you maintain it with wax, it'll last longer. Here we're doing a Japanese brown hot application on some cast iron. So we're going to go ahead and let this cool down to room temperature and then we'll use the clear guard on it. We don't want to try and do it the clear guard when it's hot. It just can't make contact with the metal because a lot of the times it'll just burn off before it can get to it. So wait till it cools down, then you can clear coat it. And as a base kind of a starting point, two coats minimum. You know, three's not going to hurt, but two coats is what is minimally required. The other thing I like to do is to uh, go omnidirectional. We've talked about this in other videos, but uh, if you go left to right on one piece, then go up and down on the next coat. Here we have the Bronze B with the Tiffany Green. Uh, those of you who have worked with green patinas before know that when you put a lot of clear coats over the top of it, they'll darken. So the environmentally friendly version, uh, is specifically the EF Matte, holds those colors the most true. You can see here this had 15 minutes to dry and we're already looking uh, pretty close back. Usually I say it takes a couple hours to get about 80% back and then the other 20% will come by in the next couple of days. The clear guard comes in satin and matte, and I'm using spray cans here in the video just to make it really convenient on myself, uh, but we do sell it in the bigger forms. You could spray it out of an HVLP sprayer, uh, an airless, a crown sprayer. Uh, it, it really sprays out pretty nicely as long as you can get about 18 to 25 pounds of pressure. Um, Squirt bottles don't work so well. Even brushing, you can do it, but it really looks best sprayed. Here we have a piece of Corten, uh, and our Corten that we got in actually kind of has a, a mill scale on it, if you will. So we wanted to try and encapsulate that if you wanted to try and keep that hot rolled look that's really popular right now. So here we just degreased. We didn't even scuff it up. We just took some isopropyl alcohol and cleaned it up. Um, we waited for it to dry, and now we're just going to spray it with a clear guard right on top. Clear guard is a direct to metal clear coat. So you don't have to have a patina. Uh, we show patinas most of the time, but here we have a bare steel uh, and it's going on just fine. And you can see uh, we use the mat and you can hardly see any sheen unless that light hits it just right. One of the questions that we get a lot in terms of clear coat is what's the heat tolerance? Uh, what is it rated for? And both the Everclear and the clear guard are rated to about 400 degrees. So here we've taken that piece of uh, core 10 that we just clear coated, uh, sat for two days, and now I'm going to uh, take the torch directly to it. And you'll see it's not going to blister, it's not going to peel, it's just going to burn away. And I'm really getting it a lot hotter than 400, so that's why it's uh, going to break down there. But you'll see the color difference uh, when it starts breaking down and the metal is actually going to start changing. Um, so it can take a lot of heat and again if you're doing like a fireplace or something like that and it's getting that much heat um, maintain the the piece and, and it'll last longer but just go in there knowing that you're going to have to maintain it to make it last often people are making the zinc countertops now so they'll clear coat them to try and keep them the same and then they for some reason want to put the like hot skillet down on the the metal they think they can take it um, and for the most part they'll be okay but if you ever get something like this where you can see there's a difference uh, just do a little four out steel wool soften it up uh, uh, soap and water bath and then re-clear coat and you should be good to go uh, the color difference in, in the metal is a different story uh, but you can always give us a call we'll help you work through it and try and figure out the best path to fix that problem so as mentioned earlier, the clear guard comes in satin and matte. Satin has a little shine to it. Matte will look flat, like there's not even a clear coat on it. 
The environmentally friendly is good for those green and blue patinas, as well as if you're in California, you have to take the EF version. The only difference you'll notice is that uh, difference on green and blue patinas and that it will dry a little bit slower. Um, and it's really just a tiny bit slower. It's not that much of a difference. And then we also have the ready to spray, which just means that it's already diluted, ready to spray out of an HVLP sprayer for your convenience. ClearGuard is available at www.sculptnouveau.com.